Hey folks, Tony Lockhart here. And in this video, we're gonna wrap up the character sketch series, okay? So I have some suggestions for you as you embark upon this journey to do your character sketching. Um, and you know, with life drawing and digital art making and all that other good stuff. I would say you should uh, try to figure out what works best for you. Don't feel that you have to follow this exact sequence that I suggested or that other people have suggested online. I just, uh, just try this stuff out. You know, find stuff, try it out, see if it works for you. Really spend a considerable amount of time practicing and improving some of the things that you that you uh, learn during the process of you know drawing and sketching characters. Really uh, figure out what you want to say with your artwork. You know, just because you see this pose that I found, here's another stock image that I found online. I'm going to use it as a reference. Just because, you know, it looks like this, it doesn't mean you can't exaggerate it. It doesn't mean that you can't push, you know, the the 3D aspect of the pose because, you know, you're part of what you're doing as an artist is you're telling a story and, and you want to communicate something with it. So, you know, just choose certain things to try to focus on and to embellish. So here's what I mean by embellishing. Notice that over here, we've got this one leg that is not that much weight on it. All of the weight is on the, on the model's leg over here on the right side of the screen. Um, so notice with this leg that I've got right here, we've got this kind of a weird bend to it and a little bit of foreshortening to it. And I'll go clean that up later, but I've got that planted at a different area in this you know, relative um, space. Notice that this foot is a little bit of a load on the edge of that foot. So I've got it twisted and tilted in in order to change the directionality. You know, again, that's just a choice that I'm making. This hip, I'm really pushing that hip outwards just because I think it's a good idea. I think it's gonna allow a lot of space, negative space to be pushed over here. I'm also pushing in the pinch on the torso so I could really embellish the stretch that's on that torso. And I'm getting a lot of tilt that's happening in the in the figure's um, form, okay? And then, you know, I could do things like this. For instance, um, notice, notice that the model's arm is going downwards and there's foreshortening that's happening as the arm comes towards camera. Well, that doesn't really communicate that well when you're looking at an animated film. So instead you wanna just push this outwards and you wanna make it look as if it has, um, you know, a stronger silhouette. Like I'm actively deciding to change the direction of the pose because I think it will tell a better story um, that's a little bit more clear. Oops, how did that happen? <laughs> um, so next, Again, I'll, I'll go and take this and try to get a little bit of a graceful curve. Maybe just have this bag and you know, have it weighed down, okay? Oh, that makes sense. I've got a background color that's uh, gray. So last thing I would do is probably go for a little bit bigger of a brush. I would change my color by pressing X and then, you know, I would just go back and choose the details that I want to highlight and identify. And I would take this picture and try to finish it. Okay, so this is this is how you how you learn to draw. You you practice. You see what works for you. You watch lots of videos, not just mine, but you see what works for you. You practice, practice, practice. You keep practicing, and then before you know it, five, six, seven thousand drawings later, you're pretty much you know you've got it down. You know exactly how you want your drawings to be. All right, guys. Good luck. Keep practicing. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.